Yo, this is Doodalay here, about to blow your mind. One day, when Newton was sitting under an apple tree, an apple fell around him, and he wondered whether the same force that caused the apple to fall to the ground was the same force that held the moon in orbit. Newton found that the moon, like the apple, was also falling to Earth, which means that the moon is in a perpetual state of freefall, causing the moon to become weightless. The moon is weightless. Not only is it weightless, but it's slowly moving away from us at the same rate that your fingernails grow. Try and wrap your mind around that contorted fact of reality that the moon is free-falling to Earth while simultaneously moving away from it at the same damn time. But there are stranger and much larger things than the moon in our solar system, like the sun, which is an enormous factory of elements that is feverishly working to form the next generation of solar systems that will replace ours after it dies. The sun is absolutely colossal. It could practically fit a thousand Earths inside of its testicle, and fit a million more Earths inside of itself if it so chose to. Earth is flying through space at an incredible 60,000 miles per hour around the sun, which is pretty damn fast considering the fact that the fastest bullet that we have travels less than 10 times slower. And that'll kill you. Life, animal life, plant life, and human life, like you and me type life, is like a thin layer of glad wrap around the surface of this planet. Actually around the surface of a bowling ball while taking that bowling ball and checking it into the sea, which would be the equivalent of our galaxy. We are like molecules. And there are 1 to 21 zeros worth of molecules in a single drop of water. So if that was a number, it'd be something like a gillion jillion, quadrillion, trillion, you know, something like that. All of this enormity can make us feel small at times, so let's go on a lighter note. Asians can make supremely awesome dragons out of paper, whereas I, I can make this kind of airplane thing if I, if I wanted to. Speaking of planes though, just over a hundred years ago, humanity first took flight and only 60 years later, we were waving up at the fucking moon. The fucking moon! You can't explain that. Sup, Neil? Goodbye, Neil. Damn, our lives are like smoke. But the Earth is ancient. Like four and a half billion years worth of ancient. Let me break that shit down to you type of ancient. Counting to a million, one second at a time, will take 11 days. So counting to a billion will take you approximately 31 years. So you've practically been counting since you've been born all the way up until now. Plus another 31 years. Plus another 31 years. So you're 93 now and your daughter has got to pick up where you've left off for another 31 years. And another half of 31 years. So that's 139 years total that your family has been counting and your grandchildren are pushing 50 and you in the ground. That's how old the earth is in seconds. Count any further than that and the Earth hasn't even formed yet. But the universe has, so keep counting. So you, you won't even live to count the age of the Earth in seconds, but this tortoise here, he's long since counted it. In fact, this tortoise could count up another one billion years if you could hang in there to watch him. Crazy as that may be though, you and I can do that too. Cause this tortoise has the longevity gene. And we're all related to this tortoise through evolutionary processes which means that we have the longevity gene too. We have it too. We can live forever too. Now sub that shit.